up? What's up? Welcome to my second channel. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl Ariana, that cute little brown girl. Everybody want a little taste of? Hi, and I'm here with my girl. Uh, 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 uh. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Nick, and we're back with another video. Cause who are you? Who are we? We are that. Okay. I don't know that, but I'm not gonna <laughs> But yes, y'all, so today, this is gonna be part of, um, again, with my beauty chest, like how we talk about different things, you get different topics, sometimes you get me, sometimes you get me with a special guest, sometimes we're doing our makeup, and everything like that. So, I got my hair done, and Neek did her hair. If you wanna watch that tutorial, it's gonna be on her channel, Life with Neek, which will be in the description down below. Yeah, yeah. But, um, Styled by Marie did my hair, just a black, little short jet black bob and i try to do my eyebrows a little bit but i didn't get a chance to go all the way through she trying to slay me no i just knew that if not your girl would have had a hat on for the rest of the trip and you know uh-uh so today i'm about to read y'all this um situation that a young person that sent to me they do not want their identity shown but this was sent to me on instagram and so i'm gonna read it to y'all and then while we do our makeup we're just gonna talk about it for a little bit it's not gonna be really long and then i'll show you guys the final look so this is not like so a, she oh. deleted the last one of us doing our makeup yeah yeah you yeah. know so okay so this says uh -uh. i gotta start when they say they don't want their name shown um, I didn't have my father in my life for starters, but I have kids. Now it's one thing when there's an absent dad, you can move accordingly and keep it pushing, no toxic energy. But it's another when you have kids and the father isn't who he should be financially and time wise. He's um he's an in and out person and toxic to my energy when he's around. He just went downhill from when I met him. Can't even legally drive, but my point is men so quick to say you keeping my kids away from me, but it doesn't matter as long as they're disappearing. So far this is like really good because we both have kids mm -hmm. and we both have different situations where the dad is active and the dad is inactive. So this is like gonna be really good. Okay. Um, But it doesn't matter as long as they keep disappearing. Um, It's like, do you allow him in and do you allow him in and out so the kids have some type of relationship or put standards on him like you either gonna show up 100 or keep it pushing i don't want my girls thinking his behavior is normal from a man it's normal from a man there they are two and four so the babies are two and four so she has two little girls and i don't want them seeing him one minute and then next i'm faced with disappointment because of him not showing up how he should mm -hmm. if i do standard if i do say the standards and say show up 100 percent or not at all it's like i'm keeping him away from my girls my girls need a little bit more love and they need speech therapy and others and others i don't want to do it alone he doesn't help with or ask about like the kids um he only wants to show up on holidays or blue moonish or base them off of if I want him relationship wise or as long as his feelings don't get hurt by say, staying out of um, poor environments. It, um, I would be, I don't want to say the word, I'd be damned if I did or don't have either, it, wait, I'd be damned if I do or don't either way for my kids. What? Oh, she wait. Might, she, she might text how she talk like me. Yeah. So it's like real hard to read somebody who texting how they talk. And it's like, damn. Not having a father as they should. Okay, so pretty much it's saying that he sometimes bases if they're going to have a relationship based off of his interaction with the kids. Uh -huh. And so like, she's saying. Oh, so you going to be with me? Yeah. Or basically I'm not going to come see the kids. Yeah, and she's saying that she's she's effed up e either, either way. Because she said when she's around him, she feels toxic. Uh -huh. Um... Mm -mm. Oh, then she said, then he wants me to go the extra mile to take him places for him because of his driving issues. Mm. If I don't, it's it's like I don't care. Or why would I do that and claim my kid and claims that my kids are missing out? Um, when it's not me, he's the problem. It's not my job to make sure that they get him, especially like get him to his job, especially when he's bringing in toxic, big, bickering energy that I don't want to be around. I don't want my kids to be around that e either. How to move with a guy? Wait, I'm confused. So, okay, so it's, the question is how to move with a guy like him for my kids' best interests. Mm. Okay, I'm so sorry if y'all looking at me like, dang, Ari can't read, but it just sometimes and then it was it's hard reading shot. everybody else what they text because it's like it's not proper. Ooh, I'm it's sorry, text messages. Just bang on bang. Don't look. Y'all should have seen the mirrors look like this, right? And now it's like this, and I was looking at it like. <laughs> but now I can see my face. Clear, I can see clearly, clearly now. The rain has gone. Yeah. <laughs> so 
yeah, yeah. So my whole I thing with that is you did good. Hmm, maybe they'll look better when I get my baby hairs. I think I feel But I feel like for a situation like that, you don't have to be with the father for him to be active. I feel like a lot of people think that like you have to be with the mother. And I feel like some mothers like to keep the kids away because they they want to be with the father. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't understand that like I feel like it's about the kids, it's no longer about you. But I feel like at the same time, if he's gonna be in and out, then I feel like you should communicate that with like with your kids and when i say communicate that with your kids i feel like for me Be my good. mom didn't tell me what days my dad was coming she would just have us get dressed so that way if he came or if he didn't come nobody feelings was hurt you know what i'm saying but if he did come we was like oh shoot daddy came but my mom kept it real like she didn't want us looking at him at a weird way when we was growing up because she knew like he was still trying to get his life together and stuff uh -huh. but i just feel like I don't know. I feel like you don't have to be with him and you don't have to deal with his energy, but you don't also have to give him an ultim uh, ultimatum because a lot of people will try to blame that. Well, mom, how was dad supposed to be active if you told him don't come around if he didn't have money? And at that time, he didn't have a job. And mm -hmm. I feel like you don't want to be that parent. Like with Daniel's um, side of his family, I don't be... If they want to talk to him, we can talk. But, like, if y'all not active for six months and then y'all want my son for the summer, that's not happening. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't know y'all. I don't know y'all like that. You can't just come around when you want to come around. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how I feel about that situation. So, I feel like the best thing for you to do would just be to try to communicate with your kids. And I know that they're young. But, like, I just wouldn't get their hopes up for that. And then with the in and outs, it's kind of like a... I don't know. How do you tell a kid, like... Yeah, he's like my daddy was real in and out. Like he'll have moments where he'll like, he'll say that he come and pick up my brother. And my brother be waiting for him all day. Like, and my mom used to like. I feel like he just wasn't trying at the time because I feel like my mama will be like, hey, just come pick up my kids. Like, just come pick them up, take them to the movies, let them know that they got a daddy. And he was just. Sometimes he'll do it. Sometimes he was just. Because my brother was sitting at the yeah. door, waiting. Like, mm -hmm. waiting. They says times when he'd be like, why my daddy don't want me? Stuff like that. And, you know, he How was the was oldest, he? so he was more understanding. I don't know, because I'm only young. I feel like he was, like, seven. And he used to be waiting at the door and stuff like that. He would never come. But I feel like my daddy used to always be in the kid's life who he was with at the time. Mm. Like, he was only in their life if he was with the, the mama. mama. If they was, he was with the mama. Like, he would be with the mama and, oh, you know... Everything's all goody and stuff like that. But as soon as they break up, he gone. And like, Damn. and that's what all my mama, I mean, all my daddy kids, he got like, he got like 12 kids. And everybody then went through the same thing. So really? it's kind of like, yeah. So he what is, see that? I oh, how like, did my mama handle it? That's the question. Like, how did, yeah. So how did, how like, she, how she did your mom handle it when it came down to I feel like she was always open to it, but she was like really real and let us know like, Yo, daddy, y'all daddies, I, I will let him come over here. You know, he just ain't come. She was trying to let it down easy, but she didn't never want us to seem like. I feel like she just kind of spoiled us in a way. She, I feel like, I don't know if this is related to it, but she like, her coping with us, like trying not for us to be sad with us. She give us whatever we want. She make sure she take us to the hotel and go swimming every weekend and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. She was doing both parts. So it would make it seem like we would never want for nothing. Yeah. So I don't know if that if that's related to. Yeah, I feel like it's family. related in a like I feel like it's related in a sense. I mm -hmm. feel like it all come down to like. Eventually, she just had to let us know that like yeah, this is I'm trying with your daddy. I'm not keeping him away from y'all. I told him he come see y'all. Yeah, my mama started putting it on speaker. Cause I was a daddy's girl. My mom started putting it on speaker, and that's when I was like, cause my mom whole thing was like, she don't want nobody saying eight years later, oh, you can't be away from my dad. Mm -hmm. Like my mom, like even when my dad wasn't like doing his part, my mom was like, call your daddy, and I'm like, for what? Like he not even, you know what I'm saying? My mom would still make us go over there, like unless it was like, unless it was bad, which is like my mom did, like my dad new girlfriend, which like she was so ghetto, like we went over there and like my daddy was dating younger girls, uh -huh. so he older, he dating girls like uh, like 23 at the time and he 45 or whatever the heck, exactly. and I'm just like and I didn't like the girlfriends either, so my dad so. was always older than young girls yeah, so my mama wasn't having that, cause like it was some girlfriends that was young that was really nice that we liked, like it was a few that we had liked, but it was just one girl 
Her name was Shay. She was so freaking <laughs> ghetto. Like, when my daddy wasn't there, she would just be looking at us like, mm. um, go in the room till your daddy come home. And we like, Oh my man. She always goes in the room. Like I didn't like her at all. Like she I was feel just, like this is turning into oh daddy stories and stuff. Like, I feel like we telling them because like now I she, experience. Yeah, because like now from a child point of view. Exactly. Because I feel like I wasn't mad at my mom growing up because she made us. But like when we had genuinely stopped and you could tell her a reason. I just want to go over there. No, daddy not gonna come. Like I stopped waiting. I stopped asking. Mm -hmm. And then as we got older, like he tried and like I was able to confront him and be like, well, daddy, why wasn't you? And because he, you know what I'm saying, you start going to events and you start wondering why they say why who your favorite don't. parent. Yeah. Mm. Who your favorite parent? My mama? Exactly. But I feel like it was just more so like, oh shoot, I forgot my train of thought. I feel like he was just not trying. We would only see him way. on holidays. I feel like we would only see him on holidays, Easter, stuff like that. When we went over there for freaking um, Halloween, he didn't even let us put our Halloween costumes on. We're supposed to be going to a big Halloween. Uh uh. It's like we were just only going over for holidays and we was only seeing him for holidays and he was just so temporary. Yeah. And I feel like, um, I feel like it's it's about the other people that you have around too. Mm -hmm. So if you are dating, you know what I'm saying? I don't know your situation, but if you are dating, can you hand me your palettes? Yep. But if you are dating, then I feel like, ooh, where you put the baby wipes? The baby wipes? Back in the hot closet. Yeah, I think so. Because we need them because we ain't got to make them Back to what I was saying, my bad for the little break. But my whole thing is I feel like communicate with your child. Let them know what's going on, even though they're young. Like, um, um do you want to go to daddy's house? Like, um, daddy might come, he may not come. Or, like, you know, wait till they get a little older. But he going to have to figure it out or something going to have to shake. Cause yeah. You can't, but that's like, as they get lost. older, it got to be consistent. Like, they going to need some consistency in their life. Yeah. And if he ain't trying to give that, then you need to let him know. Like, nigga, you need to stop coming around here. Or you gonna be full in? Yeah, cause he can't be all awesome. But what if you give him an ultimatum and then he don't like my the way my daddy was like it was it seemed like a he didn't want to be around until he had his life together. But mm -hmm. he wasn't doing the stuff to get his life together. Did that make sense? Yeah, I so, feel like that's what my daddy was. He was like, now that I talk about it in the future, like say for instance, he will see something that I said on one of my videos and he'll be like, no, nah, I wasn't together, I wasn't ready, I wasn't fully there. But you still not trying now, nigga. And I'm older. Exactly. A little text here and there. That's how we tell my daddy. My daddy told me he was going to come to my baby shower. That nigga never showed up. <laughs> Where your thingies at? Which ones? The brushes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said that man never showed up. He did. No, seriously, so though. Where are you? So that, that's the thing. Like, the the man that I call my dad is actually, like, he, he I don't know. He's, he, he not, like, I don't know how to explain it. But my biological father, that man. I had to talk to him since I was 13. And my mommy, he used to want me to come over for the summer, but like his his girlfriend, his um fiance, whatever, she had a whole she had three whole kids. He was doing birthdays for them, birthday cards. Doing the most. And so when I was there for my birthday, they got into a whole argument about him giving getting me a gift. And I'm like, the the um wife didn't like me. But my whole thing is like he only has three biological kids. None of these kids are his, and he don't even see us. So you tell me when I'm here, he can't spend time with just me. She wanted him to take me and her kids, even though she was home, like. But you know that I don't live here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know that I'm only here for a few weeks. My mama had bought me a phone, and we had, like, a little cold word. And if I ever said it, she was coming to get me. <laughs> that is so cool. she didn't want me to go, but she was like, I don't want you to grow up and be like, oh, why didn't I have him around? I was like. My mama made sure she said that every time. There was something that went down. And once she was like, y'all show y'all don't want to talk to him. No. All so right now. Don't. I want to hear it later. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. We just be like, no. I got tired of talking to him. What are we talking about? He don't even know my name, to be honest. He don't know how to pronounce my name. He called me Antronique. You lying. I swear to God. He don't even know my full, like, how to say my full name. Like, that's how you know you ain't been around me. You call me Antronique. <laughs> Antronique? Yes. Uh-uh. So, yeah, so that's my advice to you, babe. Just, like, just, I say you be direct with it. You communicate with your kids as they get a little older and at the age, I don't know how two and four, I don't know. Because I haven't really said nothing to Daniel, but I do be like, oh, do you want to talk to your other grandma? And he be like, no. And then I be asking them, like, do you, do you want to FaceTime him? And they be like, oh, I got work, maybe later. And I'm like, okay, just text me. But you know what I'm saying? 
That's all I, you know, that's all I can do. And but it's like a, they be wanting right when we texting for me to be sending Daniel down. You know what I'm saying up to Indiana and stuff. And I just feel like it's you can't do that. If you last time you see him, he was literally breastfeeding. And for the car thing and like him wanting to take you places, I feel like he can't be there all the time. Consistently, don't call me. Well, consistently, don't call me when you need me to bring you to work and stuff like that. Yeah, or like, you, or you finding your way to everywhere else. Talking about oh I'm but what did he say? He said that he not she um she she messing it up for the kids. How she messing it up for the because kids? Because he can't get to work. But it's not like you giving her the check. Baby, for you know what I'm saying? Don't be shy and get that child support now. Exactly, because it's real. It's real. Okay, it's so real. right. I when still he, ain't got mine though. That nigga ain't paid. And ain't trying to get a job. <laughs> To pay, <laughs> he probably ain't get a job on purpose just so he wouldn't have to pay. But that, but that's like that's him hindering his stuff, and he gonna miss out on his kids. And when he see his daughter and his his um his daughter's on YouTube, cause even like my dad, his sisters be reaching out to me like, oh, your little niece, and I'm just like, I just never understood oh, why. Oh, your little sister wanna do? YouTube? Yeah, I got a whole family that I just be like, why nobody try to get in contact with me? And we all following each other on Facebook. They're like, oh my God, so big. Oh my God, call me. Like, oh what God, so beautiful. Where do you live now? Like, None of you. <laughs> what? I just don't understand. So that's what I feel like you should do. It's the best thing. And um, yeah, I hope that we help somebody out there. Don't overthink it. Um, as kids get older, they understand. They might not understand at a young age. And you don't got to talk bad about the father or nothing. Can you hand me the last clue? <laughs> but um you don't gotta talk bad about him or nothing just do you and all of, all of that's gonna fall into place just be honest about the situation and everything so this is for what to do if you have a dad be daddy yeah because i know we was expressing a lot of emotion yeah but but yeah i ain't got my hate and heart towards him i forgave him but i just feel like I feel like I feel like they just Watch missed out. out. Yeah, that's it. I just that's how I feel. It's, it's no connection. Like I can't get a could grow a connection with you now. It's too late. Not yeah. saying it's too late, too late, but it's just like I will never call you that. Yeah, and I never understood like how can you? How in the world can you be okay with that? And then it's like if you didn't do right with me, you would think that these would be grandparents of the year, but no. Mm -mm. You so right. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand, like, oh, me and my dad was close, but, you know, he always with Kaiser. He always with Dan. But, no, these folks, <laughs> I ain't do right with the daughter. So, you telling me in 23 years, you ain't get it together. Still. Mm-mm. What side is which? Mm-mm. Is these the ones? Oh, yeah. This side is that way. This side is this side. But I love you guys. We're not be here without y'all team area all day, every day. If you didn't know, now you know. But these are little things stopping on the road to consistency. I love y'all. Shout out to you, um, this anonymous person, for your advice. Uh, I mean, for your situation. Topic. If y'all have any other situations, please send them to my DMs. Screenshot it and, you know, t title it like advice. Mm -hmm. Or send it to my Twitter or something like that. If you want to be anonymous, just let me know. Please, 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 please. And we if should not, start doing like the, um, what is that called? Like the strawberry lettuce. Strawberry lettuce, what's that? I don't know. I'm just mean. <laughs> <laughs> we should start doing like the freaking what's the what's that place that um I want to say what is the place called? Like it's a TV show and the girls be on there. It's like girls talk, not girls talk. Gra gra. Tamar used to be on there. The Brad sisters, uh, the real, the real. Like talk about topics like that's something real. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, but I'm out. Peace. Bye.